guys hi today we're going to talk about how to be consistently successful okay i'm going to talk about uh, a story around that um and also really consistently successful without being pulled into fear without getting stuck and uh, those of you those of you who do not know me my name is paripathri from paripathri.com you can check all about me on the website i do a bunch of things um i work with women i i teach meditation i'm an energy healer um i also uh, associated with a nonprofit organization so there's a lot of stuff that i do so if you are interested in pyramids or crystals or healing or or uh subconscious mind programming or confidence boosting then you might want to check out my website okay so let's start talk about uh, cons- how to be consistently successful and this is something that i work on myself every day as well as i'm talking to you this is something that i implement in my life um you know uh, so so let me first sh- start with sharing an example of my story about my client who came to me like a couple of uh, years back and she was a yoga studio owner uh, she used to run her own a sp- yoga studio and uh, she came to me because she feels stuck and she wants to expand she wants to really be um you know uh, tr- you know try new things but there she f- feels that there's something holding her back and she's not really like it fe- she feels stuck and she's not really getting there she can see what she wants but really she cannot she's not able to find the path or the way to do that so then i started working with her i was helping her out in you know stru- in figuring out what what does she really want to do what is it she pictures in her mind about about her business and the one thing that i started knowing more about her was that she is from a different country she came to us and she started from scratch she created this whole new business from scratch putting everything she has in it she believed in herself she was fearless i mean she she went all in she was fearless she did that and uh, she created a beautiful life for herself she was successful but now she's at a point where you know things started getting a little uh monotonous like you know it's the same thing everywhere more com- competitors so she wanted to try she wanted to be different she wanted to try new things and attract more clients and that's where she was struggling how can she attract more clients or retain what she has and yet try new things so what we figured out was at the end uh you know when we were working is that she was really stuck in uh the fear of losing her existing clients if she starts new things so because she was she felt like she was in a secured place she was in a secured place and she you know she's getting you know decent amount of money her h- house is running but but now she was you know she wanted to expand she wanted to do more she wanted to reach out to more people but she was not able to do it because she feared that if she does anything new she what she might lose what she has and she might end up having nothing so that fear of failure was holding her back so in her mind she was thinking okay what if if i if things didn't work out and what if if i change my model and i lose my existing clients what if if i don't find my new new clients i go back to where i started i have nothing and i can't and that's something you know i can't take it fear of failure because after being successful you uh, you know that becomes the the failure becomes bigger and bigger if you have nothing to lose you are fearless when you have nothing to lose you get you are fearless because you have nothing to lose but the truth is even when you are successful you have nothing to lose you have nothing to lose even when you are six even when you you may think that you have this tangible stuff but really that's not true there's a there's a saying that i uh, saw on instagram or somewhere where it says if you think you that you you know you live you are in a certainty world then you know i i may be rephrasing this but the essence is if you think that you you feel like you live in a world that that is of certain or a secure then you're living on a wrong planet <laughs> because there is nothing like certainty there's nothing like in in uh, secure in your life it's just temporary 
Everything is energy. Everything is tangible. Everything can change in a second. There's nothing that, uh, you know, we can hang on to. And that false sense of security awakens our ego to hold on to that because we think fear of failure is 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 death because uh, our ego always thinks like you know when we fail that means is is we you know we always say we rather die than fail we ra- out of shame because fear of failure is shame we associate with the emotion shame and shame embarrassment is worse than death you if because what if you die you just die but if you're shame and embarrassed you have to deal with it every single day so that's ego trying to protect us from having to deal with that emotions and so it stops us from taking risk get, you know t- getting out of our comfort zone doing things it stops us from doing all of that we would rather be in our comfortable cow sitting space than get out and get ourselves into you know taking risk so that's how the ego starts working it starts holding us back from from really taking those steps in our life so the false sense of security so we started working on her programming we started working on her you know the 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 fear that she had first thing is now let's talk about the fear that she had that everybody is doing better so this is something every entrepreneur faces i mean even i have moments where i see other people and i'm like oh my gosh you know they are doing this they are doing this um i am doing nothing in the sense of fear that creeps in like overwhelm like oh my gosh i have to do so much stuff to keep up with this how am i able to do it and they are doing so well how how can i make myself better so making yourself better is one thing but but really sitting in that fear and holding yourself back is what we are doing is we are taking our you know we are taking our light back into a hole we are like contracting instead this is something i remind myself all the time instead think about your own authentic vibration think about who you are there's nothing you know nobody is you nobody is you and that is your superpower there is none like you so there is no fear let anybody let everyone do what they have to do they are expressing themselves by doing what they what they are doing you express by being in your alignment by having your heart and mind in sync by being grounded and expressing your voice whatever you do whatever you know exp- the however you express by expressing your own authentic vibration and this is something that is so powerful when we stay in our authentic vibration and we start expressing our consciousness starts expanding our light starts expanding and there's nothing 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 that can stop us nothing no forces there is nothing that can stop you being successful because now what because you are living in the moment with your authentic vibration so here living in the moment is also very key living in the moment this is the this is the juice guys of this whole video living in the moment in your authentic vibration that's it you become the source you are the you are the creator and now in that powerful moment you sh- start shining and people will see you they will see you when you do that you become an influencer you influence things because you are in an authentic vibration most of the people are not in there even in their bodies they are somewhere in the past or future they're not even in the present thinking about and living in fear survival mode as joe dispenza calls it survival mode so there's so much happening you know with us physiologically and you know uh, mentally so many things we not living in the present living in fear living in overwhelm living in anxiety attracting again so that vibrates so when you start in your your business or your career is an expression of your own energies of your own vibration so if there is fear if there is anxiety going on guess what you will attract in your career da <laughs> 
you will attract things that are not what you want you will attract people that you do not want because because you are vibrating that in your body by by having those thoughts by having those emotions so always go back into your authentic vibration you know creating that heart and mind alignment and there are techniques to do that heart math is one of the greatest uh you know uh tools that i have used and that's something that i've been trained in as well on if, once we start working on those tools practicing those techniques our alignment you know getting our heart and mind alignment becomes easier and easier and you get grounded practicing grounding so then you can stay in your authentic vibration and really block that fear from your field the fear really is nowhere because you don't there's nothing to worry about there's nothing to worry about there is no comparison there is no judgment there's nothing to compare because you are unique you are different there's none like you so there is no nothing to compare that that person is doing better or this person is doing this and i have to do this i have to match that no you just have to be you you just have to be you that's all you have to do just be you just stay in your authentic vibration and you will see success and i and nothing 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 can stop you and that's what happened to my client we started working we started reprogramming her subconscious mind and now she has successfully implemented crystal healing uh, oh my goodness reiki energy healing all in her business and people love it people absolutely love it she just followed her her you know guts and she's like you know what no matter what i'm going to do this people who stay will with me will stay people who leave will leave it's okay not everybody should like you it's okay if they don't like you and they will leave and it's better they leave than stay and not like you right so that is the key today is stay in your authentic vibration every point to that's how we we take the focus from the fear into this moment into the in and neutralize into power into passion and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and let me know give me your comments let me know what is working out for you what is not what are your thoughts what are your suggestions are there any questions i would love to see your questions i would love to see your feedback and answer that in my next video thank you very much bye bye